So this is the first video in a new series of videos I'm doing where I'm going to cover synoptic questions. If you do know OCR, this is paper three, where basically you could be asked absolutely anything from your A-level chemistry specification. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So to explain part A, I've drawn two um, diagrams up to represent ice and steam. So if we look at the ice diagram first, you can see we've got hydrogen bonds connecting the lone pair on this oxygen here to the hydrogen on a neighboring H2O molecule. So we've got this open lattice structure, if you remember from your H2O um, theory. So what have we got? We've effectively got four bonding regions around the oxygen and they repel equally and give you that bond angle there. Then if we move on to the steam diagram, you'll notice that I've lost the hydrogen bond because effectively the H2O molecules have got complete freedom. So if we look at what's going on around each oxygen, we've now got two bonding regions and two lone pairs. So the repulsion of the lone pairs is stronger than the repulsion between the bonding regions and that drops the angle down a little bit. So in the question, it's gone 109 to 105. So that's why you've got that different angle in the gaseous H2O. Part B, why are scientists concerned about the release of methane into the atmosphere? Well, methane is a greenhouse gas. Its bonds are able to absorb infrared radiation so it will absorb that and then re-emit it into the atmosphere and warm the atmosphere up. So all we need to say is that CH4 is a greenhouse gas. Part C, so we've got to determine the formula of methane hydrate. And unusually we've got to give X to two decimal places. Normally it is to the nearest whole number, but we've got to bear this in mind. So we were told at the top of the question, it's 13.4% methane. So obviously that from 100 is going to be the H2O percentage. So it's a straightforward empirical formula calculation. So we've got the two percentages dividing by the MR of methane and H2O. So we've got our moles here to make sure they're to at least three significant figures. Divide by the smallest to get the ratio. So it's 1 to 5.74. So obviously that's the answer that they want. Part D now, we've got to calculate the volume of methane released by a kilogram of methane hydrate. Well, again, we're using that percentage to get the mass of methane that's going to come off. So a kilo of methane hydrate will actually release 13.4% of that of methane, 134 grams. So we're going to turn that into moles and then use the ideal gas equation to get the volume. But remember, it's got to be in decimeters cubed. So there's a little conversion to do at the end. So I'll quickly go through this. So the moles of methane came out at 8.375, mass over MR. I did a gas equation, rearrange for V, and then we put the numbers in and just be careful with your conversions. So zero degrees C is 273 Kelvin, 101 kilopascals, 101,000 pascals. So this number here, the 0.188207 dot dot dot, calculate the value, that's in meters cubed, but they want it in decimeters cubed, so we multiply by a thousand to get that. And then finally, suggest why some industries are interested in the presence of methane hydrate in regions of the earth. Well, it contains methane, 13.4% methane, and methane can be used as a fuel. 